Hey guys, uh, this is Josh Money here for Prime Loops. I'm the creator of the uh, Alternative House Sample Pack. Um, today we're going to be going over a sound called the Fade to Echo Arpeggio. Um, this is a sound that I created in Massive. Um, it can be found actually in the Alternative House Sample Pack um, under the uh, title Smello Arp under Arpeggios and Sequences. Um, this sound is really useful for um, anything from deep house to alternative dance to techno, any kind of electronic music where you want something to fill in the background and you want it melodic, but you don't want it um, too busy. This sound basically plays an arpeggio. It fades out to an echo and then fades back into the arpeggio. Um, basically, that's why I call it the fade to echo arpeggio. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started and uh, we'll work through the technique and help you uh, create your own version of it. I'm going to start with a uh, new massive patch here and um, we're going to go first of all um, make sure that your envelope is turned all the way up. We don't want the sound to fade out. We do want it to fade out but we don't want it to fade out with the envelope. We want it to be something we're controlling um, a little bit more with the LFOs. So make sure that your level on your decay is turned all the way up. Then we're going to go over to our LFO and we're going to um, select stepper this is to do the arpeggio and we're going to change this to eighth note and uh, make sure you have snap to grid on so that we'll get the solid uh, half steps we're going to just create a little pattern here uh, one five seven uh, ten we'll leave that at zero we'll bring this up a full octave and we'll go back to zero and then go say back to ten this really doesn't matter i mean it's up to you what you do right here. Um, I'm just, this is just the pattern I'm creating. We're going to set it to eight notes. Um, and then we're going to assign this LFO to the pitch of our first oscillator. And we're going to turn it up um, one full octave. And we're, uh, we'll go ahead and turn on the other oscillators as well. This part's up to you. However um, thick and um, complex you want the sound to be, it's your call. And we'll go ahead and assign the pitch to those as well. Um, and one octave. All right, cool. For the um, second oscillator, I'm going to um, go up seven half steps, um, which would be a fifth, um, which is really, that sounds really common, in, especially in deep house. Um, you hear fifths a lot. If you're wondering why it's seven and not five, um, in a eight note or 12 half step scale, seven half steps is a fifth. Um, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But if you put it on seven, you'll basically get a fifth sound. I'm gonna actually make this a full octave as well. All right, cool. So right now, if we were to just play the sound, we'd have this. Um, let's see. Let's unmute it first. All right, cool. Um, it's pretty good texture to start with. Um, we'll go ahead and let's put this on drive and this one, we'll do some additive sounds here. Um, this is really up to you what, what um, tones you select um, for the oscillators. Um, this really does not um, change the overall fade to, ar fade to echo arpeggio sound. Um, this is where you um, customize the sound basically. So it doesn't matter what you select right here. Um, it's up to you. Um, all right, cool. So now we have, let's check this out. All right, cool. So we've, the main first step is to assign the eight step um, uh, stepper to the pitch. So that's what we've got that done. Now the second big step here is we're gonna select another LFO and we're going to change this to Chinese roof. Um, and we're gonna set our ratio 
instead of one sixteenth note, we're gonna make it two over one, which is two bars. Um, and the reason I'm selecting Chinese Roof is I like the uh, the way this sounds, the way it um, controls filters. It's not a full um, negative to positive sweep. It's just sort of a halfway. It goes up, then comes back down, and then you know repeats. Um, this is really good for controlling filters when you don't want it to be quite as extreme. Also, I prefer the roof shape over the um, the regular triangle, um, just because this one tends to open up a lot quicker. Whereas when you use the roof, it kind of waits to the last minute and sweeps up. It's a really cool sound. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and assign this to, this again is optional. I'm gonna assign it to the, um, the wavetable position of our first sound, and I'm going to assign it to the intensity of our second sound. Um, how you do this, again, is up to you. Um, I'm, the reason I like to assign it to the LFO that we're using is I like um, our filtering that we're gonna assign over here to move in tandem with the um, changes that we're making over here on the oscillators. But again, that's up to you if you wanna do that. All right, so um, we need to make sure that our filters are set in, in um, series, and that's so that we can, if we wanted to filter out the entire thing, like with cutoff, we could run these in series. Um, make sure both filters are turned up, and we will then set the mix all the way over to two. Now we're gonna select the low pass four. You could select the two as well. I'm gonna use the four. I think it's a little more effective for this sound. And we're gonna set it right in the middle, and we're gonna assign the um, LFO to the cutoff, and we're gonna turn it down just about like that. All right, cool, so now if we were to play the sound back, we would get this. So it's a nice little mellow sound. Um, it kind of fades away as it gets to the middle, um, and then as it um, fades back in, you hear the rest of the uh, arpeggio. Um, so that's basically what we have right now. Now to complete the sound, the final third, big third step is to go over to your effects and we're going to select the delay sync. Um, I'm going to set it to one eight note for the left channel. And for the right channel, I'm going to do a quarter note. Um, I like to have the left speaker have the faster note. Um, it just sounds right to my ears to have um, Anytime there's any kind of panning delay for the left speaker to hit first and then the right speaker probably has to do something with the way we read from left to right um, if you're reading in English. So um, now that we have that set, I'm going to turn the um, damping up to, I don't know, about three quarters or so right there. Um, and then we're going to assign, once again, the Chinese rooftop LFO and we're gonna assign it to the feedback and turn it up with the feedback set right in the middle. If you wanna set it right in the middle, just double click on it. That should bring it right up to the center. All right, cool. So what this should do, in theory, is when you play the sound, it should filter out, and the second it filters out, it's going to start increasing the feedback so that the delay will carry the sound, and then when the sound starts to fade back in, the, the, the feedback should turn back down a little bit, and then we'll hear the rest of the arpeggio. All right, so let's go ahead and test that. All right, cool. And again, this is the fade to echo arpeggio. Um, like I said, it's a really useful sound. I haven't really seen anyone else do this, um, but I use it a lot and um, get a lot of compliments when people hear it in music. So feel free to try it out. Like I said, main three steps, make sure you create your arpeggio here. Make sure that um, 
it's assigned to the pitch, make sure you turn on your low pass filter and assign it to the same LFO and then sync that up to the delay. And that's basically the three components of the sound. Um, again, this is Josh Money for Prime Loops, um, creator of the Alternative House Sample Pack. If you haven't yet, be sure to check it out. And uh, until next time, take care guys, enjoy the sound.